First, we revealed how Karen Carpenter really died. Now, her closest friends tell you why. The image for, for Karen was to be perfect. Exclusive, the Karen Carpenter cover-up. <laughs> Everyone, I'm Maureen O'Boyle. Welcome to A Current Affair for this Monday, February 8th. And part two of our exclusive investigation into the death of singer Karen Carpenter. Those closest to Karen reveal the real tragedy that no medicine could cure. And next, Karen Carpenter's closest friends reveal why the pop singer was headed for danger. She lacked this other thing, you know, which was a real uh, romance, a child maybe, a year off. Karen Carpenter's life was a symbol of the American dream, and her death became a symbol of the disease anorexia nervosa. Tonight, we uncover that not only drugs killed Karen, but other secret demons that chased the singer throughout her personal life. Mary Garofalo has part two in our investigation, the Karen Carpenter cover-up. from all her anorexic behaviors by the time she died. What killed Karen Carpenter was a combination of medications. The first part of that was a laxative that Karen took in quantities of 70 and 80 at a time. And a current affair investigation has revealed that Karen Carpenter did not die of anorexia nervosa but rather a deadly cocktail of drugs taken over time. She was 108 pounds at the time of her death and five foot four. So I questioned the autopsy right from the cover and her heart was a time bomb waiting to stop. A decade after this beloved superstar's death, there are still many unanswered questions. What sadness lie behind the beautiful smile friends did not see, her doctors could not treat. I truly believe that what, what Karen had started to do was to go and spread the wings. In 1980, record producer Phil Ramone helped cut Karen's first and only solo album, an album that was never released. Ramone says Karen was pressured by her brother and mother Agnes not to break up the Carpenters. When she found out that the record wasn't coming out, and when she realized that now it was time to go back to work, all of those things became inc incredible pressures. And so physically she started to look different six months later and it, and it's like somebody out of a prison camp. it's all horrible the lost Karen Carpenter tapes were locked in Richard Carpenter's vault only last year with no publicity at all were three cuts released this was one of Phil Ramone's so favorite songs if we try but Karen was also angry at her own failed marriage to real estate developer Tom Burris who she wed in 1981 they were just not a happy couple she felt that they didn't have much in common and whatever the romance was when it when it dissipated after the wedding she found herself not happily married phil ramone says a lot of karen's image problems stem from her friendship with the beautiful and slim olivia newton john olivia newton john was like someone she would see on a show and then she was comparing herself musically and, and physically. Another of Karen's close friends was Cherry Boone O'Neill, daughter of Pat Boone. Cherry, too, fought anorexia nervosa and has written books about her eating disorder. Karen did talk to me about using laxatives, and I shared with her my experience about laxative abuse and the necessity of getting off of the laxatives. And while Richard now has the life that Karen only dreamed of, a wife and three beautiful children, there are signs that after so many years, he has learned to go on without his sister. This was one of Karen and Richard Carpenter's very first investments, a home they bought together here in Downey, California, 19 years ago. Richard continued to live here even after Karen's tragic death. Friends say he tried to hold on to as very many memories as he could of his beloved sister Karen. But now, almost 10 years to the day she died, Richard is selling this landmark home and finally finding the strength to move on with his life. I just think of all the records we could have made, all the music we could have made, but really how the world has been robbed of such a talent. Well, more of Karen's lost recordings will be released next year in conjunction with a new book about the singer's life.